Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Our first guest, Chef Michael Oliver of Stellini's Classic Italian Cuisine and the Low Country's Little Italy. Michael, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks much. Uh, you, how long has uh, Stellini's been in operation? Quite a while. St Stellini's has been in operation since 89, actually. Um, it's been quite a while. I'm a new find for the restaurant. I've just been there for about a month. Um, but it's been going, it's going really well. It's a nice pace for me. Um, it's, a, it's a great place, family owned and operated. Um, it's a real simple, simple layout. They've been doing it for 24 years, so they obviously know what they're doing. So. Kyle and Elise Carla Greca yeah. are the, uh, they are the owners, owners. Yes, and uh, they've been island residents forever. They have. I've <laughs> talked to people that have known them since they were kids. So. Definitely. And they do they do do a, a great job at the restaurant. They so, do. It's a lot. Of, um, it's a good place to work. It's a nice atmosphere. So, um, what are some of the specialties at the restaurant? Um, we specialize in just old school Italian food. There's nothing pretentious, nothing you know crazy about it. It's just it's just good, honest food. You know, we make our we make everything from scratch every day. You know, my sous chef and I are in there, you know, ten hours a day sometimes, just doing everything from scratch and. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's just old school Italian. And, and are there some old Italian recipes that, that have come along the <coughs> pipeline and you're, there are. There you were, know, you're still carrying on? There were definitely, there was a recipe book when I got there. And, um, you know, they've allowed me some freedom to change a little bit of things, tweak it a little bit. But some of the basics, like our tomato sauce and things like that, have been made the same way since before I even came to Hilton Head. So. Um, how about desserts? Desserts are actually, that's funny you brought that up. Um, Elise, actually, one of the owners, makes all the desserts. Oh, from she scratch. does. She's a, I, I she's wasn't a baker even aware of that. And, um, okay. She, uh, she makes the desserts at home and she brings them in every day fresh. We never know what it's going to be. She surprises us and comes in with a big tray of desserts, whatever <laughs> she's made that night. So it's a lot of fun. So, um, full bar available because I know a lot of people, you know, they, they go into an Italian restaurant. Some of them think of it as, you know, a family just, restaurant, maybe that just, there's just wine and beer. It, well, we have wine and beer, of course, but, you know, we, we don't really, you know, have a bar crowd per se, you know, like right. some of the places. Which is around, actually which, not a bad which thing. Which is nice. It's, right. It's, it does keep. It in it's, a family, it's a nice fit. It's a family, family theme. So, but um, everything is available for a bar. Um, you know, so if you just if you do want something a little more than wine and beer <laughs> with your pasta. So. Um, what separates Stellini's from, I guess, other Italian restaurants? Is it just that you 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 have kept the basics? You go back to basically uh, old school Italian. I would say yeah. Um, we've got a lot of really great Italian restaurants on the island. There's we do. some really we good do. places to eat here. But you know, they're all focusing on the the newer things and the more you know upscale kind of out of the box type things and we're we're proud of that we've stepped you know we've you, stepped it back to just you know concentrating on the basics and just really doing things just really doing them right and doing them old school. Obviously 24 years later they're doing something Something's right. Something's got to be going right. Exactly. So the hours of operation uh, days I guess days you're open and the hours. Yeah we are um, we're open six days a week Monday through Saturday um, we open at five o'clock and during, you know, depending on business, we're, you know, around 9, 9.30 during the week, you know, we tend to start slowing down. If it's still busy, you know, we'll stay open as long as people are coming in. Mm -hmm. um, but during the, you know, season, we stay open until closer to 10, you know, right. depending on business. Lately, we've been very busy, so we've oh, been that, staying open. And right. that's wonderful. I think most of the uh, restaurants, most of the retail spaces, um, especially down throughout the island, I, I, I think everybody has been quite busy, and, yeah. and that's yeah. certainly a, a blessing, year, hasn't sure. it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, how long have you been actually just a chef, and what are some of your areas of expertise? Well, I've been a chef since, uh, I mean, i am Probably 87 or so, I started cooking. I, mean, I started cooking when I was 12. I mean, so I've cooked for a long time, but uh, I've really been doing it professionally for over 20 years. Um, never really focused on Italian. I've always known Italian mm -hmm. food, because as a chef, you know everything, but or we like to think we do. <laughs> but, um, but the Italian food, I never realized how much Italian, Italian food I knew about until I started working here at Stellini's, and everything just comes flooding back. So Yeah, that's but great. That's definitely where my focus is right now. It's just yeah. good Italian. Great. That's what we're doing. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. And uh, look forward to uh, trying some of Elise's desserts. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> I'll let her know. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.